Before we get started with Langchain, Pinecon, OpenAI and all of these amazing technologies, I'd like to show you a demo of what they can do as we progress. We'll be following a learning by doing approach and what you see next is what we'll be doing together step by step, line by line throughout this course. After a short introduction to Langchain, we'll dive into its main components. We'll talk about LLM wrappers, chains and agents and how to combine them with the Pinecon vector data store and with OpenAI's models. After this big section, we'll move on to the project sections. Let's take a look at one of them. Let's imagine that you want to start a business in the EU. All EU business entities must follow the GDPR regulation which was implemented by the European Union to protect the privacy and personal data of EU citizens. It standardizes data protection laws across all EU member states and imposes strict rules on controlling and processing personally identifiable information. If you don't comply, you could be fined hundreds of thousands of euros and your business could be closed. This is not a joke. Here is the GDPR website. As you can see, there are tens of chapters and the PDF file is 88 pages long. You could probably spend a few full days reading and understanding it or you could hire a specialized lawyer to explain it to you and that's not a cheap job. Alternatively, you could build an LLM application that learns the content of this document so that you can ask it questions about anything related to it. It's like having that expensive lawyer in front of you but for free. I used this example because it's something that's well known and of interest in Europe. But you could use any other private document, instruction manuals, legal or accounting documents, medical studies, treatment plans and so on. The AI model was not trained on this set of data because it's not public or is too recent. Once you build the application, you can use it with any other document. I'm loading the 88 page PDF into a Langchain document. I'm running the code in this cell. It's loading the file. Now, I'm splitting it into smaller chunks. There are 856 chunks. Next, I'll embed the chunks into numeric vectors and insert them into a Pinecon index. I'm running the code. It's embedding the chunks, creating the Pinecon index and inserting both the chunks and the embeddings into the Pinecon index. It takes some time, so I'm pausing the video until it's done. It is done and uh, the embeddings are now in the Pinecon index, the vector embeddings. Let's ask a few questions. I'm running this piece of code. And the first question will be, what are the main points described in the document? And I've got the answer. Okay, let's ask what is GDPR? What is GDPR? And it says that GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation and uh, that it is an EU law. Very good. The next question. Tell me more about the requirement for consent, please. Very good. And the last question, what about the right to be forgotten? This is something very interesting. This is the answer. All the answers were given only based on the content of that document. You can use any other document in any format instead. This is amazing and in my opinion, this opens up an infinite number of use cases. We'll probably add the application, a fancy web interface and exit. This was one of the many useful projects we will build throughout this course. 
We will also build a summarization system, which is a valuable tool for anyone who needs to summarize large amounts of text, such as students, researchers, and business professionals. I will also teach you how to create web interfaces for these applications so that you can actually sell or use them in real life. There is so much to come. Let's get started.